Hello, welcome back. We got the camshafts off, the cam holders off. I'm using a bungee cord to hold the chain up nice and uh, tight. So now we're going to be removing the rocker arms, rocker holders uh, to get the cylinder head off. So uh, 10 millimeter bolt as well, but you can get the uh, rocker arms out without using the holders but the holders are necessary to come out that we can get the bolts uh, for the cylinder assembly so I am using a nice little cardboard area that we can keep track of where they're coming from that we can put them back in right where they came from without messing up the uh, the order or risking um, not putting the wear back with the wear so I'm gonna start on the exhaust side one and two. Three and four. And then one and two. Three. Reach around four. And I can take out off the holders so that we can keep track of this position as well. These are just hand tied with a quarter inch. Um, they get that put back on. I think it's somewhere, somewhere between 10 and 12 foot pounds. So not much. Uh, Pressure is used to keep these in. So I'm just going to take these off by hand. There we go. Grab all the washers. So let's get this out of here. wiggling to get this guy out. It's bad. But it needs to be there we go. Just enough to get it over the lip. Uh, there are dowel rods uh, that are holding that these sit on. So make sure the dowel rods stay in. Um, or if you're taking them out, make sure they keep track of them. Get both of those bolts off. This slides right up. There we go. For the bolts, since I am not doing anything crazy with the cylinder head, I can just put these right back in. So that way I don't have to worry about a storage space or risk losing them. So I'm just gonna give it a couple couple turns. The dial rod did pop out. So here's a little dial rod. So nice and hollow. But uh, very important. Good for spacing. So slide it back in there. Let's put this in and bada boom. So I'll move on to the intake side. So one and two.
Okay, so we got all the rock drivers off. So now we can continue with taking off the whole down. So I'll start on this side first. Save time, we'll just uh, remove it. And then it's loose. I do not use the drill to break it loose, just to remove it once it's already loose. I don't need the torque snapping the bolt. There we go. So we got the right hand side. side. This one came out with the bell rod attached to it. So just got to pop the bell rod back out, slide it back in the spot. Yeah, the dial rod popped out then I think. Maybe somewhere over here. There we go. Slide this guy back in. There we go. Now I can put the bolts back in. No reason to risk losing any of them. the rocker arms off we can look inside of the valve cover assembly and make sure nothing is out of the ordinary nothing like scratched or scored um, I like to leave the hydraulic lifters here oh, the hydraulic tappets I leave them in I'm not taking them out. I don't need to work on them. I already know they're all set. But if you want to check them, you just put your finger on them and see if they compress. If they compress, then oil pressure needs to be built and they have to be flushed. Uh, to flush them, you're going to submerge them completely in like a little bucket or cup or container with oil in it. And you're just going to compress it inside the oil. That way it sucks the oil in. Um, and you can get it filled up. So um, we're going to take off the rear oil pipes. We'll do that next. That way, when I loosen the head, it's not going to mess the lines up. Uh, these are 10 millimeter also. So I'll use the open end wrench just to loosen that nice and softly. Hands. Okay. Make sure the banjo bolts feel good. Uh, if we want to close in the bottom as well, that is a 12. So we can loosen that. Now we can get this out of our way. There's a longer banjo bolt. Okay. So we'll take it off the bottom part first. Make sure you have the washers. We don't want to mess up that. Keep 
track of this bolt. Now we can loosen these bolts. Make sure you catch the washer. Bring it on. Slide it up. There we go. So we have the right hand side oil pipe banjo bolt. So we can make sure that everything looks good. They are crush washers, so might have to replace them. Same thing on this side. Now we have the whole oil pipe assembly off. Be leaking a little bit of oil, but that's okay. That's what it's here for. there. Make sure we have both washers. Make sure you have both washers off of the longer pipe. So here's the longer oil pipe. So we got one. This one's a little stuck. There we go. So we will clean those up when we have it on the other table. This way we're not losing track of any of the bolts. Those in the bit. All right. So now that we have the oil pipes off, well, oil pipe for mine. Yours might have oil pipes, depending on what year it is. Uh, this 84 only has the one to put the two, but I have seen other ones where it is a longer bolt, pipe it over the other pipe, and split over that way. So, whatever your preferences. Okay, so now we are ready to take off the assembly. So, we need to take off the four outside bolts, the four lower bolts. There's two in the, in the back, two in the front. They're 10 millimeter for the outside. Uh, the top ones are 14. So you can use a 14 open end, or if you want to use the socket, you're welcome to use the socket. And the 14, yes, I already have the 14 out here. So it's Prepared. I want to make sure. So we have the inside ones and the outside. So for this, I think it was with a quarter inch. Let's see if I can get them off with a quarter inch. Yeah. Okay. Crisscross pattern. That way we are not risking warping assembly. Let's see if I can do it from this angle. Uh, should be one, two, three, four. Then we go the inside. Uh, I'll have to look at the manual for the actual order because I don't want to mess anything up. But Nope, I don't have the manual in front of me. So we're just trying to crisscross it. Take the bolts off. So, um, yeah. Stay tuned. I'll get this off. All you do is loosen, the, loosen those. Once you have it up, you can put a little spacer between to hold it up and feed the chain through to the back or to the front, whichever way you want, as long as it doesn't fall all the way in. Even though we're opening the case, 
it's easier just to have it that way. Um, there are it's a tensioner for the chain guide. We can get that out real quick. You can do that too. Yeah. So take off the uh, tensioner assembly. So it's four 10 millimeter bolts. We'll get those off. And then the chain guide. One of them slides right in. So that was one of the steps too. That way we can feed the chain through to the outside when we lift the sonar's head up. So yeah, that was other step. So okay, we'll get that taken care of and then we'll uh we'll start on the uh the sonar assembly and get the pistons out. Alright, stay tuned.